What up YouTube fam? Thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. As always, it's good to see your beautiful faces. In today's video, what I wanted to talk about is my top five shopping tips when searching for higher end products. Now, if you guys have been a, chan a fan of the channel for a while, you may notice in some of my, vi my review videos that I always am opting in or talking about how I go for the higher end products. Now, the reason for that is two reasons. One, I believe in quality. I really would spend the extra money if I'm gonna get a quality product that's gonna last a super long time, or if it's something that I'm gonna be using on the day to day or a lot in my life. I think it's justified for the price. The second thing is I get super bad FOMO of like the extra bells and whistles on whatever the product is and I'm like, hmm, what if I'm one day sitting there and I need to use that function and I don't have it? I'm gonna be mad that I didn't spend the money to get it. So those are kind of the two things that lead me down this path of like buying quality products. But with that being said, I do do a lot of research prior to purchasing the product, as well as I use these five tips to make sure I'm getting the best possible price. And with that, I wanna share that with you guys to make sure you're getting the best possible price. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. But for that, we gotta hop over to the computer. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, I lied. The first place we're actually gonna be going to is my phone. Now, the reason I wanna start on my phone is is because we're gonna do like the low hanging fruit of this kind of saving money shopping topic. So the first place I go to look when I'm looking for a new product is actually Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp. And I'm just gonna say one or the other, but I mean both talking throughout this whole segment. So I start looking on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp because you can find some really good deals on these apps. Now, now the reason for that being is tons of reasons. Like there's literally endless reasons why people are selling new stuff. For me personally, I can give you two examples. One, for my Theragun G4 Pro, that if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. I did a review on it. For that, the guy who sold it to me was sponsored by a gym and was able to buy them at discounted rates and he had extra and I was able to save like over $200 on buying a brand new factory sealed Theragun G4 Pro. The second thing being, I was looking for some power beats, whatever the newest model is, and I was looking on OfferUp and I found a gentleman who had them factory wrapped again because he had gotten them with a tonal workout set. So he bought a workout set and they gave him beats for free, but he didn't wanna use them, so he's already selling them at like a $50 discount. So that's just two quick reasons why people are selling brand new stuff on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace, but the reasons can be endless. Now, another cool thing about Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp is that you can trade. Now, it doesn't happen that often. I have, I've only done it once personally, but I traded a, a studio monitor speakers that I had never taken out of the box for these $300 pair of gaming headphones, the Odyssey Mobius gaming headphones. I love them and it was one of the best trades that I have ever done, but like I said, it's not common. It, it really is kind of difficult to get a good trade going, but it is something that does happen. Now, with that being said, those are some ways that I have gotten some items off of those things, but something that I haven't taken advantage of, advantage of which is an opportunity for you guys, is hyper-specific markets on Facebook Marketplace. Now for LA, I can just use an example, like downtown LA sneakerheads, or like West Side LA photography, where people get in these groups and are just a little ecosystem outside of like downtown or LA and are selling very specific products. Now I'm not in a lot of these, but you could definitely get into these and probably come across some really good deals that you can't find anywhere else. So that's an opportunity that I see for you guys. Now with that being said, this is one of my favorite shopping tips to save money but there definitely are some drawbacks to this way of shopping. The first being the item. You definitely have to make sure or decide for yourself if this you're comfortable getting this item used or if it's something you want brand new. Also, there's a factor of whether or not you're comfortable picking it up from another person and you trust the product and all that. Now, obviously, make sure the person that's selling it has good reviews, has a ton of reviews, and I always try to make sure that the product is functioning prior or when I pick it up, or I only look for new stuff that's wrapped, sealed, factory sealed, and I can tell from the pictures that it is brand new. The second thing being, even if you buy it brand new, the warranty can become an 
an issue. If you don't have access to the receipt, place of purchase, time of purchase, all that stuff, even if it's still under factory warranty, you may be able to not use it. So that is something that you have to take into account when buying these items off of Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. And then the last thing, I live in a really big city and I'm super blessed uh, because of that, because I have so much access to drive to so many different places and the competition for selling something is so high that I could potentially save more money. Now, if you do live in a smaller city, the inventory might be smaller or people may just be selling it at the same price because there's no competition. So that's something if you're in a smaller city, I do apologize for that, but I got another, I got tons of tips for you guys coming up next. And for that, we're actually going to be moving on to the computer. All right, let's, let's get over there. Okay guys, so we're gonna be going into the second uh, shopping tip of today's video and that's gonna be Join Honey or Honey. So basically Honey is a plugin that you can uh, add to your Google Chrome, Safari, uh, uh, iPhone, Android, whatever. And essentially what it is, is it's the, it compiles a, a bunch of coupon codes and or you can monitor items through the website to see when they go below um, retail value. Now, there's a couple ways I like to use this, so I'm gonna get into the computer and show you guys what's going on. So the first way I like to use this is, right now I'm looking to kind of upgrade my microphone, so the first thing we're gonna look at is a microphone. But the first place I like to go is not the actual website, but I go to the actual person or the retailer of the website. So up here you'll see Honey, there would be a little number here if they have a coupon code accessible to try out. Um, so for obviously for the Sure website, I'm looking at this MV7, there's no code here. So the next thing that I like to do is go to like a big box retailer or anywhere else on the internet that may sell the product. Now, the second place I like to look is at Best Buy. I buy a lot, of, a lot of stuff from Best Buy, so this is the second place I look. Obviously, it doesn't look like there's been any price changes and it gives you this little uh, tips, but it doesn't look like there's been any price changes as well as I don't think there's any coupons here either. So I'll even go a step further and go to another website b and Photo, looks like um, they don't have any coupon codes as well. So um, no luck on this product, which is why I probably haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. But if you do go to other retailers, they may have a coupon code. Now, the second thing that's really cool about Honey is that on Amazon specifically, you can actually look up uh, price changes. So I'm looking for some desk, uh, desktop monitor arms. This one here, you can see that there's been actually three price changes since in the last 30 days. And what you can do is, is if you click into this, it'll show you a graph of up to 120 days in the past that you can see how much the price has fluctuated and see what the lowest price is. So you know either you're paying the top of the market, the middle, or the bottom. So this is something that is super useful that I've only seen that you can get access through. One, through Honey, and two, on Amazon. It only shows that. I don't think it shows it on other websites. And then the last way I like to use Honey, which may be uh, the most favorite for you guys, is if you actually go to the main page and then go to your drop list, we're gonna be talking about those microphones again. Um, I have them drop listed, which is basically a notification set that if the price drops below 5%, I'll get an email notification saying that it dropped below 5% and to take a look. So I have it set for Amazon, Worldwide Stereo, Autorama, and uh, Target down here. Now, I know you guys may think like, oh, well, why didn't you just show me this to begin with? Because this doesn't have everything, it doesn't have all those websites on it. So I couldn't find the Sure uh, MV7 for Best Buy. So it's not watching it at Best Buy's website specifically. So I wouldn't get a notification because it doesn't have it through this portal. Now, those are the three ways that I like to use Honey and it can be super powerful. Just be aware, I also understand like, for if you're looking for like, let's say a pair of Nikes, it may be a lot of work to go from finish line to Foot Locker to Nike.com to Shoe Palace and do all that research for something that may not be that expensive. But let's say you're looking for something like a microphone and you know, it's $250. If I could save 50 bucks on it, you know, or 20%, that's something that I personally am willing to do. You would have to decide that for yourself, but that is something that I take into account and that's how I use Honey and all the tools that it provides. Moving on into our third tip, um, basically YouTubers. Okay guys, so after Honey, that brings us into tip number three, which is YouTubers and Instagrammers. So with that being said, what I mean by that is, is that YouTubers and Instagrammers generally have sponsor codes for a variety of products. 
Um, a lot of the stuff I see is obviously on YouTube. I do see some stuff on Instagram through people that I follow, but if you're really looking for a product, you can utilize this in one of two ways. The first way is, is if you go to YouTube and look up a review of the product, generally they have some type of sponsorship code there. And the second way to use it is if you already follow people in a specific space who have a larger following, generally they have brand sponsorship deals. And with that, they have some sort of discount codes. Just for a cute, a few quick examples, I have Henbu here. He's like a photography, videography um, teacher, I guess you could say. He gives tutorials and stuff like that. And in this video here, he just goes into Skillshare, who's sponsoring the video. And the second thing that I just used most recently, this is a Desi Chang, who's also in the photography space, has a lot smaller following than Henbu, but he has a 10% discount code to this Ulanzi Fallcam F38 system, which I recently just purchased for my own camera, and I was able to save 10% on that. So that is the third tip, is to check Instagram as well as YouTubers for discount codes. So after you've used all those three resources, maybe you don't even need the product that bad. So with that being said, my fourth tip on the saving shopping list is waiting for major holiday sales. Now, like I said, if you express all those options and you really don't need the product that bad and it's still pretty expensive, you could just wait for a major holiday sale. Memorial Day sales, half year sales, Black Friday is obviously the biggest sale that you're gonna get. So just do your research before, look at the product that you really wanna get and then wait for that sale and then just browse everywhere to see who's gonna give you the best deal on that. That's kind of how I attack those situations where I don't need the product that bad or right at that moment, but still would like to purchase it. So wait for a major holiday sale if you got the time. And that moves us into our last category or our last uh, help tip, which is tip number five, and that is price matching. Okay guys, so the tip number five out of everything that we've already gone over is price matching. Now price matching can be really cool for a, a few reasons. Now I like buying all my tech stuff at Best Buy if they have it. Sometimes they don't have the products I'm looking for. But if they do, I will do everything in my power to get it from Best Buy. Now the reason being is, is because I have a Best Buy credit card. I earn reward, rewards points that gets me money back or like in the form of Best Buy gift cards. And I get this thing called Best Buy Elite status which I'll talk about in a second so the reason I price match is because if I if Best Buy has the product I'm looking for I'll go through all these other websites that also sell it find the best price and they get it price match at Best Buy and use my Best Buy credit card so I'm getting the product I'm earning points and earning points to get higher perks with Best Buy. One thing that I really like about Best Buy's perks is is that I'm an elite plus member so what that means is is that if I buy something, my return times are longer. So instead of like two weeks, it's 45 days. And within the return time, you're also eligible to call in and still get a price match. So let's say I buy something for $100 and three weeks later or two weeks later, I see it for $75 or $50 somewhere else. I can call Best Buy and get that price price matched back down and I get the difference. So they'll get, they'll re, um, refund me the difference of that price, which is why I think price matching is such an essential tool. Now, all these places do price matching, not only Best Buy, but that's just the way that I use it specifically. And then one small note about Best Buy and Amazon, if you guys change the colors of the products, if there's multiple colors, you may also find um, a little bit cheaper price. I didn't know where to fit that in the video, so it's coming out here. So. Um, I do have another last bonus tip for you guys after you save money, so I do wanna go over that. I didn't make it the sixth tip because I don't know if this is really a tip, but it is something that I do and you could potentially use or figure out how to use it that best suits yourself. It is a little riskier than these other things. It's not so straightforward, which is why I didn't really make it a part of the video. But this bonus tip that I'm gonna give you guys is essentially delayed financing or 0% interest financing. Now, I use this in three different ways. I use my Best Buy credit card, my PayPal credit, and my Chase Pay plan, which is a part of a Chase credit card. So essentially, you guys have probably seen this through like regular websites. It's like Klarna's a, a servicer that does it, and there's tons of others that will give you in monthly installments. The ones that I use aren't necessarily installments, they're just 0% interest. So for PayPal credit, it's six months with no interest for anything over $100. Chase pay plan is three, six, nine, and I think there's higher options with a little fee each month. 
And then um, that's like installments. Those aren't installments either. You actually have to make the payment. And then Best Buy credit is 12 or 24 months, 0% interest on things over $299. So my golden rule for these strategies is to have 75% or 100% of the money saved up before actually using these. And it kind of allows you to free up some money to, to see whether or not you want to put all this money down towards this product. And it can be utilized in the proper way, but it does take some self-control, which is why I didn't really make it a part of the five tips because it could potentially get dangerous if you don't know your limits. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for coming through uh, to the end. I really like this video because this is stuff that I kind of figured out or made on my own. I don't really know if anybody else is making these types of videos. So I thought that was super cool that I could share this with you guys. If you guys found some value in this video, as always, please drop a like. All the major YouTubers say it helps out, so I'm assuming it helps out. And let me know in the comments how you guys are using these strategies to buy and save um, on the products that you guys are searching for, as well as let me know if there are some ways that you guys are shopping that I don't know about and I could learn and use to my advantage as well. We're all a big family here, so um, love talking to you guys. Thank you so much at the end of this video, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.